Hi guys, welcome back. So in this lesson, I thought I'd go over a few really nice jazz related chords that's gonna make beginners sound like they know exactly what they're doing. So the chords I'm gonna show you voicings for are a minor 11, a minor seven flat five, and an altered dominant. Now that may sound like complete nonsense, but don't panic because I'm not gonna spend this lesson explaining what all of these chords mean and how they're constructed because to play them you don't really need to know, you can just learn that stuff later. It's much better to learn the theory about the stuff that you can already play, rather than learning complicated theory that you can't really relate to. So I'm simply going to show you the voicings, and then give you an example of how you can apply them. So to begin with, I'm going to demonstrate these chords in the key of D minor. Our first chord is a minor 11, and it looks like this. So what we have here is a D in the bass, and also the third above. And then in the right hand, we just have a C major triad. And this gives us the 7th, 9th, and 11th. So an easy way to remember this chord is just to play the root at the bottom, and a minor third above. And then in the right hand, just play the note D, or the root note, and just go down by two semitones, and then build a major triad from here. This voicing has such a nice thick sound, and you can substitute it for any straight minor chord. So moving on to our second chord, we have a minor seven flat five, and this is how it sounds. So you can see that this is very similar to the previous chord, and technically it's a minor 11 flat five, but you will very rarely see this actually written down, but you can play this chord any time that you need to play a minor seven flat five. So it is exactly the same as before, except we add in the flat 5, an A flat. So an easy way to construct this chord is to just play the minor triad in the left hand, so this would be a D minor, and then flatten the top note. And then in the right hand, just do what we did before, and play the major triad from the note below. And moving on to our last chord, an altered dominant. Now this is a much more complex chord, but you can basically replace any dominant 7 chord with it. This is how it sounds. Or like this. It's exactly the same chord. So this one is a bit more out there, but when it's played in context, it sounds really good. So in the left hand, I'm playing the third and the flattened seventh. And in my right hand, I'm playing a B flat major triad in its second inversion. You can also think of this as going to the fifth an A, and then go up one semitone, and then build a major triad from here. So all together, we have these three chords. D minor 11, D minor seven flat five, and a D altered. So what I'm going to do now is show you how you can apply these chords and make them sound great. And the way we're gonna do this is play what is called a minor two five one. So don't worry if you have no idea what this is, it doesn't matter. But if you are interested, then go and check out my minor two five one video. 
So let's take our second chord, the minor 7 flat 5. We're actually going to play this in an E in E minor instead of D. So to construct this, we play an E minor triad in the left hand, and we flatten the top note. And then we play the root in our right hand, go down one note, and make a major triad from there. Next, we're going to play the altered chord, but this time in A, so an A altered. Um, you may want to pause the video and go through this one a bit more slowly so you can work it out for yourself, but we basically have the seventh and the third in our left hand, and then we build an F major triad in our right, and maybe play it down here instead. And lastly, we play our minor 11 chord in the original key that we did it earlier, in D minor. So all together, we have this. E minor 7 flat 5. A altered. And D minor 11. So I know that is a huge amount of information, but if you take one thing away from this lesson, just make sure that you can play those last example chords and try to incorporate them into whatever it is that you like to play. And also just play around with them. You can make them sound really funky if you want to. So I hope you guys found this lesson useful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and hit that little red bell so you don't miss any new free content. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment box below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.